Hey, uh, I'm Nitin. I'm going to talk about single site Firefox VMs with NixOS. So, some of the motivations for why you would want this is it provides alternative security and privacy guarantees than running Firefox natively or having a single Firefox instance visit a variety of websites. So, for example, you might want to sandbox your Firefox instance that visits your banking website from the Firefox instance you're using to click random links on Reddit, for example. Uh, it also enables you to customize the VM however you see fit uh, using NixOS, and we're empowered to do so with NixOS. Uh, so this is a mandatory disclaimer for my employer. Moving on. Uh, so NixOS makes VMs pretty easy. Uh, here we have our standard library function to uh, define a NixOS VM. I have here an auto start Firefox Nix file that I'm going to show in a second. Um, and then we have our target here, which is a attribute that's provided for us that builds to a script to launch our VM. And the auto start Firefox file is pretty simple. It's an XDG auto start file. Uh, the relevant line here is the exec command, which launches Firefox and visits a configured URL. And from here, that attribute that I referred to uh, builds this launch script that uses Kimu to start a VM. Great. So now, now we have our VM. It launches Firefox and visits this hard-coded website. Now let's take a naive approach and do this for a list of websites. Say we have a, a set of websites that we visit commonly. So what we're going to do here is we're going to define a utility function that allows us to uh, take in uh, a name and a URL of uh, a name for the VM and a URL of the uh, website we want to visit, and we're going to access this attribute, effectively reusing what we did before, uh, just wrapping around it with the utility function. Um, and what we're going to use is this module args.url to pipe the URL uh, down to the modules that we're importing. So this is mostly a convenience. Uh, and from here, our, we modify our, our auto start Firefox command to access this URL. And in our uh, invocation of what to start. Uh, when X starts, we're going to use this URL. And now we just map over a hard-coded list of websites that we have. Uh, we take a union over uh, the set of sites that we want, um, that we generate these launch commands for, and we have, uh, we have our package. And for each of our websites, we'll have an appropriate or a corresponding VM launch script. And this works. Uh, the problem is it's slow. Uh, on my personal machine, I did this for two machines. It took about 30 seconds. For four machines, 48 seconds, like roughly linear in Nix eval time. Um, I was importing this package in my Nix OS configuration in uh, environment.system packages, and with dozens of VMs, it was taking minutes to rebuild. So I uh, took a look into why this was happening. And there's two important observations to make. One is that a Nix OS system is being evaluated per website. And the NixOS system library call is doing a full eval each time it's invoked. So we can get around this with two improvements. Uh, the first is to use flakes. Uh, this is the standard NixOS uh, flake specification. Uh, we just evaluate our NixOS system uh, and assign it to this attribute uh, in, our, in our flake, and the results will now be cached. The second improvement is to use this very convenient Kimu runtime option. So what we can do is we can provide these key value stores using this forward config option. Uh, and what will happen is in the VM that's launched, we'll have this file available. And in this raw file, uh, what we'll have is the, the string contents that we specified in the command line. So for example, uh, if we want to specify a URL to visit, we provide opt slash uh, ffurl with nixos.org. And when we launch the VM, in that file, we'll have the contents. So now we need to use this. Uh, we need to use it in two places. In one place, we're going to use this is our launch script. When we're launching the VM, we're going to specify at runtime this parameter, uh, the URL that we want to visit. And uh, we simply take that as the command line arguments uh, at invocation when we're starting the, the VM. And we use these conveniently accessed environment variables, kimu ops, 
that are already accessed in the VM launch script that NixOS uh, generates for us by default. Um, and noteworthy here is we're referring to the Flake output uh, to, to launch the script that we've uh, cached in our Flake outputs. And then to access that, uh, that file that Kimu provides for us, we uh, wrap around Firefox. Uh, so instead of invoking Firefox directly, we define a script that accesses that file um, from the disk. Uh, and then we specify that in our auto start file. And then we also ensure that we have access to that file. And there we have it. We have a script that we can invoke at runtime where we pass in a name and a URL to visit. Uh, and when we invoke that, we have our Firefox VM that visits a website. Uh, and so all of this is pretty convenient, uh, not too bad to do. Uh, from here, there's a lot of things you can do on top of this, given that we have a NixOS VM running. You can customize the Firefox instance that you're running by providing add-ons that, that you might want to use. You could you know, rice your, your Firefox instance if you, if you please. Uh, you can configure networking, uh, which is conveniently available through NixOS. You can just reuse an existing module that you may have defined. Um, yeah, and so uh, I hope this talk has shown you uh, there's a lot of power and customization that we have as NixOS users. Thank you.